So now I'm going to talk about another script editor in Celtics, and that is the AV script. To add it, just like any other item, I'm going to go to the Add button and pick an AV script, which means an audiovisual script for your project. And there it is. And what an AV script is, is it's, um, imagine like a, a documentary with voiceover. And that's basically um, the most basic AV script. You have your footage, and then you have dialogue that maybe is recorded, you know, separately as in like what a voiceover would be. It's also maybe use, uh, useful for something like an ad, which is also include like a voiceover, and then maybe a music video. You can write out the lyrics um, and the dialogue, and then you have what's gonna, what's supposed to be on video as you go along. So basically it's going to separate uh, your audio and video, and it does that because you'd either be, you'd be re recording them at separate times like a voiceover in a documentary. So our options are scene, heading, shot, character, dialogue, and parenthetical. And just like the, the screenplay editor, it all kind of works real conveniently. You've got the same toolbar and everything. So let's enter a scene heading. Do interior computer desk. And then if I hit return, you see I go to shot. And um, I can enter in what the shot is, like what the, the visual is. If I hit return again, I go to character, and this would be who's, whoever talking, the, uh, the audio part of the, um, the script. Hit enter, uh, return again, and I get to dialogue. And from here, I hit enter again, I go back to character. And remember, um, uh, return is going to take me backwards in this setup, and tab is going to take me forwards. So I just, I'm in a parenthetical, but if I um, return, I'm going backwards to dialogue, backwards to shot, backwards to scene heading. If I tab, I'm going forward to shot, forward to character, forward to parenthetical. So just remember that, and you can navigate uh, easily that way if I want to go back to go to a new character. Um, that's how I would do that, and then Return takes me to the next logical thing, uh, which, of course, is dialogue. So to see what this script is going to look like when it's done, you need to go to the typeset. And it's going to format the script. And this is what your AV script will look like. It's going to separate out video and audio. And this is why it's convenient for something like a voiceover. So that's what an AV script is and how you use it in Celtix. Um, you still got your scene navigator over here as well as the same features from the screenplay, um, title page, index cards, reporting, and then your script editor, which is what I just showed you. So that's the AV script editor in Celtics.